For our next move, we're gonna come into a wide leg squat and we're gonna do some punches. So we're gonna punch right and left. Your punches should go straight forward about nose height and you want your knuckles to be facing outward every time you throw a punch forward. Abs are tight, chest is open, and back is straight. Keep your core tight the whole time. Power through these last 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Take those 10 seconds now to really rest up, catch your breath, and get ready for round two. Sink back down into that wide leg squat and let's throw some punches. This move is great because it's not only working your arms and your upper body, but it's also working your lower body while you do that wide leg squat. So that's actually utilizing a lot of the smaller muscles, especially on your inner thighs, while boosting your heart rate and burning fat. Seconds to go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. 10 seconds rest. Last round of punches. Okay, so this is your third round, so you're probably starting to feel a little bit tired at this point. That's not gonna stop you. Sink down nice and low and make sure you're punching forward with your knuckles forward. If your form's strong here, this is where you're gonna really see change happen in your body. And sink down a little lower right here. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 